You may wake up one day and all of a sudden this happens, or maybe it's more of a slow burn, but regardless, I think everyone goes through that time where they hate their house, right? So maybe you went through it during the pandemic like a lot of people did, or for me, it happened when I was staying at home with one of my children when they were young. I just grew really to dread my space. You know, I was spending so much time in there and I just started to wanna change a lot of stuff. And there's nothing wrong with that, of course, but I just wanted to feel happier in my space and I didn't have, you know, most of us don't have like an unlimited budget. So let me get to the point. Here are 11 things that you can do that are free or nearly free that will make you like and enjoy your space at home more, okay? So the first thing you could do is to paint a wall or maybe add wallpaper. Something I saw too that was on like a, you know, DIY thrifty type of thing is to use old wrapping paper and somehow like cover a wall with it. I have not tried this, so I cannot say how to do it or anything like that. But of course you can look all that up and if that's for you, give it a go. But it's amazing what just a little paint can do. And you probably, you have paint at your house, I know you do. But maybe even just adding like a statement wall, some bright color or maybe a moody color, black. Um, my brother and sister-in-law have a black dining room and I'm just obsessed with it. And then they have a lime green like bathroom. It's just fun, right? So it just adds something so different and it's so inexpensive to do. Either you have the paint at home or maybe you can go buy some. Or I've even seen people um, on like the your kitchen backsplash, if you have something like this, just drawing designs. You know, I mean, this can be like geometric types of shapes or um, <clears throat> I don't know, I'll, I'll show you a variety of stuff, but it, it makes a big difference. It's easy to do and it's fun and it's just an easy way to do something like that. The next thing, and I'm sure you know about this, but I have to remind it because it can make such a big difference, is to rearrange your furniture and your decor. So simply, if you can, you know, some living rooms and like furniture doesn't allow for this, but like moving where that accent chair is or changing around your couch. A lot of us have these like modular sectional couches that you really can change the way your whole room feels. You still have that same furniture, but it's changing the feel or same with your decor. Moving something that is usually in your dining room into your living room, it just adds something completely different. You know, I went through this phase where it's like, again, I've had all this decor forever and I wanna buy a bunch of stuff, but like, I really didn't wanna buy a bunch of stuff, right? Like I wanted to find something that I already had because I'm thrifty like that. And, you know, just moving it into a different space, it, it works wonders. And like, the other thing you can do is called like shopping in your home. So me, I have a closet of extra like decor items that I'm maybe not using. And going and looking in that closet and pulling it out, maybe it was a piece that you used forever and then you got so sick of it that you put it away, but now you're like, you know what? I haven't used that in years. Let me pull it out and try to do something with it. Or you may think of a new space to house it in, or you may think of a new way to display it. So, you know, just kind of to get the wheels turning. And again, like this doesn't cost you anything. You're shopping in your own home. So. Um, another thing to do is to make artwork. So I'll link to a video I did of making artwork for my house. As you can see right here, one of these pieces I liked, another one I'm gonna have to redo because it's not my favorite, but it was so fun to do. I had these paints. Um, it was a project that I was gonna do with my kids. So I had paints already. I actually had bought these canvases from like a neighborhood like for sale site and they were super inexpensive. Usually those canvases can be really expensive, but I've even done it where I painted over an old canvas. And so you're really like making a totally like eclectic, original, unique piece of art. So that's something, even if you think you're not artistic, there's so many tutorials and like fun videos and you really could do something really interesting and it would be unique to your own home switch out your pillows or get pillow covers. And pillow covers can be inexpensive, super inexpensive. 
Um, a website I've used before is called Society6, I think it is. And they have, it's like artists that sell their prints and you can make um, towels, you can make pillow covers, you can make all sorts of things. And it's going to these artists. Anyways, they run a lot of sales, I'll link to it. But that is an inexpensive way to make a big difference. You just switch out those the cover of your pillows and it makes a big difference. Or simply moving pillows from another room in your house and sw swapping them out. So like you can see here, I have this gray pillow in my guest room and I put it in my living room and it, it like looks totally different. You know, it's just, it's just amazing how you place something around new things and it can add a whole new look. Burn candles. So this is such a simple one. Most of us have a lot of candles that, I don't know, we don't do much with. I don't always burn candles. I like to have them out though. It is just something that adds like an elegance and a homey feel and such a cozy vibe to your house, right? How can you not love like your favorite scent and just, you know, Maybe you're missing Christmas time, so you light a pine candle. You know, I mean, anything, like anything that's your idea of like cozy and comfortable, and it just makes a big difference. Get flowers or plants or even branches from outside and put them in a vase inside. It, this has been my favorite thing to do lately. You know, even, we overlook so many things that can be beautiful in our homes and bringing nature in is one of the simplest things. Again, it just like adds a cozy feel, it adds a comfortable feel. Um, it kind of creates that like zen atmosphere, at least for me it does. I have flowers in my yard or we have wildflowers nearby. So like there's something that's always available. I've even seen someone take like a huge like tree branch and this was like a no cost, low cost like thing, put it in a big, um, like a giant vase and it looked like this immaculate, super expensive um, plant. And it just was like a found object. So I love doing something like that. But I mean, even if it's the dead of winter, like we can usually, you can always find something outside and it just adds something so lovely to your home. Maybe it's not colorful, I guess, if it's in the winter, but you know, it just adds something really, really nice to your, to your space. Okay, you know I'm gonna have to say it because I am a professional organizer, but organizing your, like a space, pick a, pick a space you've been wanting to organize and do that. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, you will enjoy your space more if it is organized. You can look at all my videos for tips and tricks. I'll link to some of them, but even just start with one space. Maybe it's your pantry. Maybe it's a drawer, you know, start small. By organizing it, you will, you will enjoy your space more. Along the same lines, deep clean a space. So I just yesterday, and this was out of necessity because my son had a stomach bug and our house was not clean. Um, I deep cleaned our carpets. I shampooed our carpets, washed our carpets. Y'all, that is like one of the most satisfying chores ever. And like, we don't wear shoes in our home. So like the fact that our carpets get as dirty as they do, just like blow, it, it just blows my mind. So deep cleaning an area, not only <laughs> is it like super satisfying, maybe you clean your stove or, you know, some of it's going to be like annoying, but like or cleaning your fridge. Like it's going to make you enjoy your home more. This is also kind of along the same lines. Get rid of something. Getting rid of something helps. Maybe you're just sensing a lot of like, maybe your space just makes you overwhelmed, okay? So maybe there's too much visual clutter in your home. So getting rid of something, not even like, you don't have to sell it. You don't have to donate it. You don't have to put it in the trash. Even just putting it away, putting it in that closet that, you know, has your extra decor or whatever, but getting it out of the space that you see all the time, maybe you, maybe you just need less things on your shelf and you'll like that more, you know, so often it's like, 
we want to put a lot of stuff, or at least I feel guilty of like, I fall into this category of like putting a bunch of stuff out and it's just too much. You know, some of, of course that can look nice, but if you're just wanting to change it up, take something away, take something away. And that may help. And the last thing is make sure that you're always making your bed. If you are not in this habit, force yourself to. It does not have to mean that you have 20,000 throw pillows on it and it's perfect and pristine. I just pull up our covers and kind of fluff the pillows and it's done. Not only does it feel better when you get into your bed because your sheets are kind of like tucked in properly and all that, it makes a world of difference in your bedroom. It's starting your morning off right. It changes the whole vibe of your room. I swear, I swear, I swear by it. What are some other tips that you have for just liking your space more, like free things that are free or really inexpensive? Let me know in the comments, please. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll talk to y'all next week.